is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Shreveport, Louisiana, weighing in at 235 pounds, Ruby Holmes Sky. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of All Action Wrestling Mayhem. It is I, your All Action Wrestling Mayhem one-man commentator. Once again, Grim is busy, 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 busy boy. He'll be with us soon. Whenever Grim is with us, I promise you, you will hear his sweet, sweet voice once more. But as of now, we start the night off with some amazing action with this certified AAW All-Star Groovy Guy in action going one-on-one -on -one with the man of the show himself, the AAW Undisputed opponent, Champion. Tacoma, Washington, weighing in at 212 pounds, the Action Wrestling Undisputed Champion, Elijah Wool, Champion. Okay, JoJo, thank you for saying champion twice. But Elijah Wolf walking down the ramp, getting ready to compete against a former AAW champion himself, Groovy Guy. Although Groovy Guy is the former AAW champion, he is the shortest reigning, well, second shortest reigning AAW champion in history. Losing out only to the man who beat him, Ryan Lloyd, and he lost because he got cashed in on by Jacob All, the first ever cashing out briefcase winner a little bit of history lesson but here we go right here groovy guy former aw champion who never lost a champion fair i might add he claims he was distracted by the syndicate but if you re-watch it i think ryan lloyd beats him one-on-one -on -one clean as a whistle i could be dead ass wrong i'm absolutely dead ass wrong but elijah elijah already going into a submission here looking and locking in on the arm elijah wolf Focusing in on the armor, Groovy Guy knows how powerful those arms slash forearms are of the former AAW champion. Oh man, already going into another arm bar. Elijah Wolf has him in Groovy Guy. Oh, 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 he, he thought he rolled out, but Elijah locks him in. Look at the amazing technical ability of the AAW undisputed champion as he snaps the arm and shoulder of Groovy Guy. That is one of the main reasons he is the AEW Undisputed Champion. A phenomenal, phenomenal wrestler. Now Groovy Guy back in control. Showing off the amazing strikes, the hard strikes. Oh man, and a massive headbutt delivered. And Elijah Wolf countering back with a strike of his own. Irish whip now into the ropes. Oh man, we thought he was going for a neck breaker, but he knees him in the face or drops his face on his knee regardless. Now Elijah Wolf focusing once again on that arm and shoulder of Groovy Guy. It is very apparent what Elijah is going for here tonight. As the double G's can't get quite offense here. Can't get quite offense? The fuck type of English? Anyway, can't quite get in offense here. As Elijah scales the top rope looking to leap out of the ring. Very dangerous, but you know the AW Undisputed Champion is no stranger to taking risk. Oh man, Groovy Guy misses a strike. Oh, Elijah had a strike caught and Groovy Guy, oh, misses the drop kick. Elijah scrambles back into the ring, but look at Groovy Guy with a hot shot. Elijah really should have been paying attention. Irish whip now by Groovy Guy and a running drop kick to the corner, keeping up the momentum, delivering another running drop kick into the corner. Now Groovy Guy going to roll him over for the pin. Looking for the victory on the undisputed champ. And a kick out at like one and a half, almost the two, whatever. Referee's hand didn't quite come down. For, it doesn't matter if he kicked out. Now Groovy Guy wrenching at the neck of Elijah Wolf here. Elijah Wolf has no real stakes in this match except for, well, it is always a big stake when the champion loses. But Groovy Guy has no real stakes in this match. This is just a match that Matt Dickey wanted to put on for the fans. Give the fans a phenomenal show here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And a kick out. A kick out by Elijah. Now Groovy Guy is going to go to the top rope. He doesn't go up here as much as he used to anymore, but you know he's not scared to do it. Elijah going up to his feet, and he counters the single axe handle. Elbow axe handle. Elbow. We all saw it. Who cares? And a knife edge chop and a punch to the back and a headbutt 
Groovy Guy is now all over the AW Undisputed Champion and a Tornado DDT. Middle rope Tornado DDT. Groovy Guy in the driver's seat with a kick to the gut. Elijah kneeled over and now Irish whipped and a clothesline delivered. Groovy Guy is not letting up the attack on the AAW Undisputed Champion. Good goodness, beat the shit out of him. Punch him, Groovy Guy, punch him. Elijah counters the punch and oh, another. Groovy Guy must have a hard head to be delivering all those headbutts. Now Groovy Guy very slowly putting him in the tree of woe. You can tell he is tired. All those strikes, all that rapid offense. Really got the man a little bit winded, but still in control of this match. You can be tired, but as long as you're in control, you're in good positioning. Here we go about the pin. The undisputed champion looking for the win and only a one count this time. Elijah Wolf not giving him much of any hope whatsoever. And now look at Groovy Guy with that submission hole. Look at that amazing lock that he has in. Elijah can easily stretch out his leg to the to the bottom rope or maybe even his hand but oh he'd rather get out of there the Elijah way now look at Elijah oh man I think I don't quote me on that it's called a side back suplex <laughs> or teardrop suplex or something like that side toe say toe whatever and now Elijah Wolf with a cross face I know what this one is called that is what we call a cross face that is a tight cross face that he has locked in a groovy guy is he gonna tap out is he? No, Groovy Guy just powers his way. Absolutely powers his way out of the submission hold there. Now looking to deliver the... Oh, no! Headbutt countered. Northern Lights delivered. Neck being cracked. Ligaments being popped. Air bubbles being popped. Now Elijah Wolf with a sling blade. Looking to come back and deliver a measure of offense on the Groovy Guy. Going right back to the arm that he's been wearing down this entire match. He has Groovy. Oh, it stomps on his arm. And now Groovy Guy up on the shoulders of Elijah Wolf and down. Face first on the knee of the AW Undisputed Champion. Now Groovy Guy counters. Arm wrenching now. Now Groovy Guy looking to deliver a back suplex. Oh, Elijah Wolf counters. Counters into a king shot stop by the AAW Undisputed Champion. Looking to put it into this match. That's it. Francis Gates, I hope you were watching. I hope you're watching because that's the man that you want. That's the championship holder right there. Here is your winner, Elijah Wolf. Francis Gates wants a chance wants a shot at the AEW Undisputed Championship, that's the fucking man right there that you have to take down. That's the Undisputed Champ, and the Undisputed Champ does what the fuck he wants. But anyway, a congratulations to Elijah Wolf. and next episode, we are going to hear from the brand new AEW Cruiserweight Champion. Trayvon Cole made his debut last episode, defeating Fred in a shocker of a debut for the AEW Cruiserweight Championship. But just like that, we got to move on to the next match as we have another champion in action. The AW, oh, that's and Timothy Bryant. You couldn't quite see because his face was green for a few seconds. But Timothy Bryant attacking the AW United Kingdom champion. We have a double header of champion action here tonight. Non-title, obviously. But Timothy Bryant, he's going to make his mark. He's going to go after the AW United Kingdom. Kingdom Champion. And now picking up the United Kingdom Championship. No doubt in my mind, Timothy Bryant. Ooh, excuse me. Wants the AAW United Kingdom Championship. He knows he has a non-title match here tonight against Drake Hunter. But this is a way to weaken him. Soften him up. Just get a little bit of an advantage on the champ. Now Timothy Bryant going to the ring. I think he, he, he feels like he's delivered enough damage to the United Kingdom champion. And now the champ is picking up his belt. And he's going to come down to the ring like originally intended. And now he puts the belt down and Drake Hunter's ready to go. United Kingdom champion in action against Timothy Bryant. This one-on-one -on -one match has started officially. And Timothy Bryant delivers a step up in Zaguri. Look at that, thumbs down. Yes, that's right, yellow t-shirt guy. 
Now here we go. Oh, man. Shoulder into the body of Drake Hunter and a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Timothy Bryant with a little bit of an advantage on the United Kingdom champion as he delivered a, as you saw, pre-match assault. But Drake Hunter, tough as nails. He's so tough, he ate a bowl of nails for breakfast this morning without any milk. And that's some of the toughness we're talking about with that knife edge chopping out the arm of Timothy Bryant up against the, hooked into the rope. And, oh, Timothy tried to strike, but Drake catches him and slams him face first. Drake Hunter, and now the look at this amazing back suplex with the leg hooked. Amazing pitting position in our two count. He almost had the match right there over Timothy Bryant. Timothy thought he had an advantage just because he attacked him, but Drake Hunter, you know him. Never say die. Never run away from a fight. Never. I am just sorry. I was just looking at those fucking boots that just got delivered to Timothy Bryant. Anyway, you get the idea. Drake Hunter's not going down easy. Now he's going back to the assault on the arm. Stomping on the hands of Timothy Bryant. Much like the AEW Undisputed Champion, Elijah Wolf, Drake Hunter is a very technically masterful wrestler. He will wear down body parts, get out of the toughest locks, get out of the toughest submission holds, and find a way to wear you down to a point where at least by the end of the match, one, two, maybe all of your limbs will not be 100%. Well, they damn sure won't be 100%, but they damn sure won't be feeling good. They're going to have you feeling limp, feeling partially paralyzed in a kick out by Drake. And Timothy Bryant, this man is no slouch either, ladies and gentlemen. Two-time AAW champion without a shadow of a down and a lion salt delivered to Drake Hunter. Will he kick out right here? And he, oh, he, he does kick out. Yes, he does kick out. But as I was saying, Timothy Bryant, two-time AAW champion, nothing, and I mean nothing, to just sit there and look at him and go, you don't have what it takes anymore. And an elbow drop missed by the former AAW champion. He was also in a global championship tournament to determine a global champion number one contender a few well not a few a lot of episodes back and he put on classics only losing out because the competition in that tournament was so damn tough and a barrel roll delivered to Timothy Bryan and now look at Drake Hunter back to the arm there it is right there he has him in the arm bar Timothy Bryan in the arm bar now that arm that's been being worked through the whole match by Drake Hunter he has it locked in, and Timothy Bryan is so much pain. Is he going to tap out? He is right next to the ropes, but he can't reach them. Timothy Bryan can't reach those ropes, so he's going to have to get out of here or tap out. Look at him rolling, clubbing away, clubbing away at Drake Hunter. That's all he can do. And now look at him. He takes down Drake Hunter and puts them down and sits on his legs. Leg drops the leg of Drake Hunter. And now Timothy Bryant, look at his amazing, glorious DDT and a rope break. <laughs> Man, these wrestlers really do not have ring awareness. I have seen so many matches that could have been won into that very scenario, a rope break. Now Timothy Bryant, oh shit, two disrespectful slaps. I thought he was just going to end it at one. Two disrespectful slaps by Timothy Bryant, now just wiping his sweat on the man. And Drake Hunter does not take too kindly to that. And now Drake Hunter delivers the Braid Buster to Timothy Bryant. Two, no, two, ref, what do you see? A sh I did not see a shoulder come up, ladies and gentlemen. I did not see a shoulder come up. I am the commentator who has to commentate. I don't make the rules, I just commentate. And me commentating, I didn't see a shoulder up. Drake Hunter should be the winner. Drake Hunter should absolutely be the winner right now in this matchup. But I guess the match is still going to keep going. Oh, and, oh, and Enziguri missed. You can tell he was trying to get the back of his head. But Drake Hunter's just a little too short. Timothy Bryan just miscalculated by a couple of inches. And now a roll up on the AEW United Kingdom champion and a kick out. Kick out by Drake Hunter, the man who should absolutely be the winner right now, by the way. And an elbow 
And now Timothy Bryant, now he's going to go to town on the arm. And he's going to try to wear down the AEW United Kingdom champion. And Drake Hunter now counters with a kick to the gut. And now a small package from the United Kingdom champion looking to get a quick victory. No, well, not really quick. This match has been going on for quite some time. But, you know, quick in terms of, hey, watch out, small package. Ooh, you didn't see that one coming. And now these two just countering each other's strikes in a clothesline. Oh, and a knee to the face of the AEW United Kingdom champion. Timothy Bryan in the driver's seat. This match for both of these men may just be one huge move away from being over. Oh, and a knife edge chop delivered to the United Kingdom champion. And a hard Irish whip into the corner, and he turns him around. Drake Hunter is really stunned right now. Drake Hunter cannot get back into this matchup here. Referee counting it up. Timothy Bryant rolling it up. And Timothy Bryant getting a win. He has just pinned the AAW United Kingdom champion. Even though Drake Hunter got attacked before the match. And definitely had this match won off the brain buster. Here is your winner, Timothy Bryant. You heard it right there. The winner is Timothy. But Drake Hunter. What is going to be the fallout of this match? Because Drake Hunter just got pinned. Timothy Bryant just pinned the United Kingdom champion.